Hello, what's up? Ali here sharing this amazing news that the original Biggie toolset from Biggerville is back. So what makes this very important? He is the original developer of this toolset that allows us to jailbreak and install CFW on our PS3 using a web host. So there are some mirrors and copies of his work, but they are just some incomplete copies that may sometimes cause some issues or breaking on our PS3. That is why it is highly advisable that if we are going to jailbreak our PS3 using a web host, we have to look for the original digital set. And on this video, I will show you how we can access this tool set and use it to jailbreak our PS3. Though at the time of recording this video, it is still only working from 4.80 to 4.89. But they are already working to port this to 4.90. So if ever it will also support 4.90, I will just update the information on our description as well as the links. But you can follow exactly as what we are going to show on this video. Having said that, I strongly recommend to follow this video exactly as it is. Don't skip a step to ensure the success success rate of this whole procedure. In the meantime, if you are already on 4.90, you can use a PS3 on a flasher to jailbreak and install CFW on your PS3. I will just go ahead and leave a link on our description on how to use the PS3 on a flasher to jailbreak the PS3. Let us start with the requirements. What we need is a PS3 that is on a compatible version and model. So it has to be on at least 4.80 to 4.89. Though we will be working this on 4.89. But if you are on a lower firmware and want to install a lower version of CFW, all you have to do is look for the exact version of your hybrid firmware. So I won't be able to provide all of the links of the versions of hybrid firmware, but a simple Google search will definitely provide you what you need. Keep in mind that you won't be able to install a version that is lower than your current version. Then we need the USB or external hard drive to update our PS3 and install other application and also an internet access. Now let us go ahead and address the compatibility of different versions of PS3 for you to know if your PS3 is good for CFW. At the back or at the bottom of our PS3, we will find a sticker that also includes the CECH model of our PS3. So this is uh, the back of the PS3 and this is the bottom. And here, this is the CSCH model. And these are the three different PS3. The PS3 FAT has a model of CACH A to CACH M. And the PS3 Slim has uh, a CSCH model of 2000 to 3000. While the PS3 Super Slim has a CACH of uh, 4000. All FAT PS3 are compatible with CFW. So if you have a FAT PS3 like this one, then you can proceed and follow this video to install CFW. Some PS3 Slim are compatible. So you have to check the model. If it's a CSCH that starts with a 25 or lower, so either 2500 or 20, it is compatible, but if uh, the model starts with the CSCH 3K and up, unfortunately, it is not compatible. While uh, all of the Super Slim models are not compatible with the CFW. So for all PS3 that are not compatible with the CFW, you can always install HEN. Well, HEN stands for Homebrew Enabler, and it is compatible with all version and model of a PS3. And the main difference of a HEN to CFW custom firmware and it is the complete and full jailbreak. While the HEN stands for homebrew enabler, it is like a partial jailbreak. While it supports all the PS3 or majority of the PS3 games, there are some functions and features that is only available for CFW. But if you are just into uh, PS3 games and uh, some emulators, HEN will definitely work out. Meaning that you can uh, still uh, play most of the PS3 games, use external hard drive on your PS3, and play some emulators. Uh, I will just leave a link on our description on how to install HEN on different models of uh, PS3 using alternate host. Now for the links, you'll find the links in our description and it will take you to these websites. If you are unsure which version you want to install on your PS3, then go for the latest supported HFW version. But until we announce on our description that it already supports 4.90, just go ahead and use 4.89. 
44.89 hybrid firmware just open the link and scroll down a little and here you will find the links uh, to download the file now in case uh, we have 4.90 supported this is where we can find uh, the hybrid firmware for 4.90 again open the link on our description just scroll down a little and uh, you will find the link or you can download uh, the link by clicking on this area now for our custom firmware let us start with the 4.89 you'll find more information on this website so if you want to know more about the features of this release just scroll down and read through the features of this custom firmware and here you'll find different release for this custom firmware the pex version is the hybrid of the cex and the dex and the no bd is for those who have a broken blu-ray driver for the no BD and no BT, this is for those who have a broken Blu-ray drive and Bluetooth module. This is for those who have a broken Bluetooth module. And this is for the overclock version. So again, if you are unsure, just go ahead and click the PEX version. Now, if you are going to proceed with the 4.90, again, you will find the link on our description. Just scroll down a little to know more about the features. And here you will find the same version for 4.90. So if you are unsure, just go ahead and uh, use this version for your PS3. Now once we have our HFW and CFW, let's go ahead and prepare our storage for the update and the rest of the files. We can use a USB thumb drive or an external hard drive as long as it is formatted to FAT32. To know the format, right click on the drive, click on properties, and here on the file system you should see here FAT32. But since this one is XFAT, we have uh, to format this to FAT32. To format an external hard drive, we will need an application called the FAT32 Formatter. The link is on our description. Just go ahead and download and run the program. To use this application here on the drop-down menu, choose here the drive that you want to format to FAT32. First, click on this part. Then click on Initialize. Then highlight again on this part. Click Quick Format. Then click on Start. If your hard driver has an error like this one, that means that your hard drive has a different partition. Even if you are able to format that to FAT32, unfortunately, you still won't be able to use that for your PS3. Your hard drive should be on FAT32 and on MBR partition. To change the partition, we are going to use our command prompt. Press the start button on your PC. Then type in CMD to enter command prompt and here type in disk part then enter then from here let us type in list disk here you will see all of the hard drive that is connected to our pc and the one that we have to change the partition is disk one so from here let's go ahead and type in select disk one Now once it's selected, we have uh, to format the hard drive first by typing clean. But before we do that, make sure that you have uh, no important files or data on your hard drive because uh, cleaning the hard drive will reformat the hard drive and uh, will remove uh, all of its content. So if you are currently using your hard drive, make sure you properly back up all of your files first before you format your hard drive. And if you are ready to format the hard drive, just type in clean here press enter now we have successfully formatted the hard drive and from here it is now ready to change the partition and to do that just type in convert mbr so just a short recap type in cmd on the start button then select command prompt then on the command prompt type in disk part and a new window will pop up type in list disk to check all of the hard drive available then uh, select the disk you want to format then you have uh, to clean it first then from there you can go ahead and change uh, the partition to MBR so right now we have already changed its partition to MBR so let us go ahead and uh, run our formatter now you will see here if we check the hard drive our formatter can now locate or can now detect the hard drive that means that this one is already on MBR now let's go ahead and format this hard drive so just click on this part then initialize click on ok then go ahead and click this one again click on quick format then start you will see that you have successfully formatted the hard drive 
by the way to download this application i have already left a link on our comment section and just scroll down a little and then click on this area to download that application you don't have uh, to install the application all you have to do is download and run the application now once we have uh, prepared the storage we have uh, to create a folder on the root of our hard drive naming ps3 all capitalized then inside this folder ps3 we are going to make another folder update again all capitalized here on the update folder we are going to place the update file that we are going to use on our ps3 and make sure that it has uh, this file name this exact file name otherwise our ps3 won't recognize the update file now once we are good with the update and our external hard drive let's go ahead and update our ps3 on our ps3 first we have uh, to make sure that our ps3 can detect uh, the usb you will know that if you can see the usb icon here on the video or the music uh, or on the photos uh, if you don't see the usb device here it's either your ps3 could not detect your usb or hard drive so you have to make sure that it's formatted to fat32 and it has an mbr partition if you were able to make sure of that and still your ps3 could not detect your usb then try a different usb port on your ps3 or just try a different usb and once we have verified that let's go to the system update and click on update via storage media now if you are getting any issues here like no applicable update has been found or you are already on the latest update or any issues with the update here it is very much advisable to use a safe mode to update your ps3 to use safe mode we have to turn off the ps3 and have a usb cable ready to connect our controller on the ps3 to get to the safe mode of the ps3 here's what we need to do uh, so hopefully you can notice our ps3 here by the way uh, we are using the fat ps3 but uh, it is the same uh, with all the models of the ps3 so here on the standby mode just press and hold the power button hopefully you can hear the beep okay so that is the second beep and wait for the third uh wait for the third beep then it will turn back red and once it's red press and hold the power button again and wait for the third beep so that is the first i'm sorry so wait for the fourth uh, beep after the second uh, round of uh, the power cycle once you are on uh, this part so all you have to do is uh, just uh, get a usb cable and uh, connect your controller to your ps3 and uh, press the ps button choose number six so just scroll down on your controller and uh, press ok or enter and from here all you have to do is follow the instruction so press and uh, hold the start and select button at the same time and it should start the update after the update it will automatically restart now it is ready to install and exploit on the ps3 but it is highly advisable to install the hybrid firmware twice before we install any exploit and once we are good we can go ahead now and go to the internet browser just to make sure that we are already connected to the internet now here on the browser we'll just have uh, to make some preparations uh, so press triangle on your controller go to the tools confirm browser close make sure that it is turned to off uh, next on the home page use blank press ok then uh, again back to tools then delete the cookies search history and authentication information once we're good press back and enter the internet browser again now we can go ahead now and enter the host of the big tool set so press start on your controller and enter this following address now we can go straight to the ps3toolset.com or we can also add the http colon then double slash ps3toolset.com just don't use the https only use http then press start and it should take us to the original biggie tool setup 
and just wait for the host to initialize if you get this uh, red sign fatal uh, memory allocation error occurred that you may have uh, to repeat uh, clearing all of the uh, internet data on your ps3 or you will have uh, to reboot your ps3 but it is highly advisable if you got any error message there to just reboot your ps3 to avoid any chances of uh, breaking your ps3 so once it initializes and you did not receive any red messages, then you can proceed with the whole process. So just go to the flash memory manager. First, we have to back up our flash memory. Again, this is very important because in case uh, uh, something happens and you break your PS3, you will need this original dump to be able to restore your PS3 back. And uh, to have a backup of your flash, click on the flash memory and save flash memory backup and that uh, you will be asked here where to save uh, the flash or the dump file so just uh, choose uh, dev uh, usb 00 this will save the flash on your usb thumb drive then click on save so once you get this green check and the validity has been completed you can go ahead and check the health of your dump if it's good uh, to install cfw And once you have uh, passed the dump check, then we can go ahead now and uh, patch our memory. To do that, first we have to download the patch. Here on the flash memory patch, click here load the patch via HTTPS. This will download the patch that we need on our PS3. So uh, just make sure that the PS3 here is not interrupted uh, while it downloaded the file. Once it's done, just click on close. Then we can now install the patch. Again, let's go back to the flash memory patch and apply the loaded patch. This will apply the patch that we have just downloaded. After the patch, you may go ahead and install uh, the CFW that you prefer. And it is highly advisable uh, to do any updates using the safe mode. And uh, if you encounter any issues uh, before you get to this part, it is also advisable to just repeat the process from the start to avoid any possible issues. And also, I would like to remind to have a backup of your original dump file. After the patch, you just have to restart your PS3 and install CFW. But one important note, after you install CFW and you want to update to a later version of the CFW, you don't have to go through the whole process. Just go ahead and directly install a CFW. So for example, you have successfully installed a 4.89 CFW and you want to install 4.90 CFW. Just download the version and update on top of your 4.89 CFW. So this will be it on our video. In case you encounter any issues or errors, just go ahead and share them on our comment section and I will definitely address them. And again, this is Ali. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe and I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.